My name's Aaron Martin. Um, I go by Angry Wobots. It's just an alias uh, that I chose back in Seattle back in um, 99. Basically, Angry came up later. Wobots was during that time when AI came out, Matrix and all that shit. And um, I was working as a line cook and I moved to Seattle to relieve stress and, and just break away for a bit. But I felt like a robot and um, I was just getting back into graffiti and I was trying to think of an alias. So leaving Hawaii, I was like sad and shit because I left my family, my girl, like I, I just needed a change. So I dropped the R-O from bot and I added the W-O-E, like a, you know, like a, just a bummed out machine, I guess. And I was working like 15 hour shifts and I came up with Wobot. Later, Angry Wobots came up later because it, it Wobot just sounded too plain and I was just like yo let's just add angry in front of it you know it sounds cool and uh, it's never meant to be a name it's basically my concept behind my art you know like because in, in early 99 I got well 98 I got in a gnarly car accident where it put me out for a year and that's why I moved after I healed I had to like just recharge you know so um Angry Wobot was basically like coming out of something really negative and trying to flip it into something positive, which is trying to live off what I love, and that's my art, you know what I mean? Well, here's a story. So, I used to paint robots, and um, I was, when I moved to Seattle, um, there was a store called Houston, and that whole street art shit, or everything was merging. There was a magazine called Lowdown, and it was like skating, punk rock, hip hop. And all these artists that I used to look up to when I used to be into graffiti, like Futura and uh, Cause, and all these cats were doing toys and and, and um, just you know actually trying to live off their art, which was really cool. And um, this gallery had all of it, like even Hecox, Ryan McGinnis, even had um, you know like James Lavelle mixtapes, my uncle, and all that cool stuff. So I was getting into this and. Um, uh, I just got inspired, man, just, you know, going to the store and uh, the whole street thing just haven't happened yet. And I, I caught the, 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 first, the first glimpse of it, you know, that, the, the, I would say the varsity team, you know, and uh, it's a little washed out now, but that's, you know, that's how I, I was, like, inspired to do this shit. And uh, basically this store had Mr. Jago. His, I th it may have been his first show in um, in uh, the U.S. And I used to do these one-liner robots because you know I loved I loved I, I mean I love futurist shit before and I you know just the freedom of doing raw lines and continuous lines was something I was into. And I was at this cafe drawing these robots, and uh, this this cat came up and he's like, "Yo, your shit looks like Mr. Jago," and I'm like, "What? Who the fuck is Mr. Jago?" You know. And he's like, oh, he got a show next week. You should go check it out. And I went to his show, and I was just bummed out, man. I was like, basically, like, whoa, this, how I wanted my shit. I mean, it wasn't even close or as sick as Mr. Jago. But when I saw his stuff, I was like, I can't do these robots anymore because Mr. Jago was killing it. The panda never came until 2003. So... Yeah, yeah, I was painting at these slam poetry events, and um, what happened was my homie was supposed to bring all my paints. I bought black, white, and like a bucket of random small tubes. I used to paint with house paint. So I made, I just had black and white paint mostly, and um, I was like, fuck it. I was supposed to paint a grizzly bear. I was like, yo, I'll paint a panda bear, and uh, that's what came out of it. And it was a once a month thing and uh, once a month thing and um, no matter what, people would come up and be like, hey, like a month ago, didn't you paint that angry panda? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that was me. They're like, yo, can we commission you for our angry panda? And I'm like, really? That's weird because I like to paint all kinds of stuff. And um, it just never failed, man. Like people just kept asking for it. So I kept painting it and it caught on to, wild, you know, it, it caught on like wildfire and uh, been doing this full time since 03 and you know it, it gets repetitive sometimes but if it takes me around the world I'm gonna keep painting it because that's my passion is travel and and meeting folks that paint so 
I'm, I'm Filipino, so, you know, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my dad, you know, like, he, he, he's a hard worker. He's, you know, straight blue collar, like, you know, like, just like straight labor work or like, you know, he's just a hard worker to support the fam. And I did it for a while, man. I did every odd job possible. I did moving. I did forklift operation, shipping and receiving. I was a barista for like seven years. Um, so my parents had a hard time because my dad couldn't understand it. You know what I mean? Like what I, what I was trying to like get into. And it, you know, finally maybe about, up, I mean, since 03, maybe two years ago, they they finally accepted it and they love it because, you know, I get to travel and they see the proof, you know what I mean? And I can come home and, and sometimes, you know, take care of the fam a little bit. Damn, that's actually a hard question, dude. <laughs> uh, I'll, probably, no, I'll probably be a cook, man. I mean, I love to cook, you know? Yeah, yeah. I grew up, I grew up uh, learning how to cook with the fam and, uh, that's my set. That's my second, my second thing I love doing. You know. So this is Angry Wobots, Army of Snipers crew. Uh, shout out to Bifuteki. Check out Bifuteki.com. Respects.